Ladies and gents, welcome back to Off The Record, a podcast made by Rockabye Records here in the small town of Oakham in the small county of Rutland in the little country of the UK. Um, thank you very much for joining us. If this is your first time joining us, um, please, uh, you know, you can subscribe to our subscribe to our podcast and um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and TikTok as well. Um, as always, I am joined by my favourite people. This is Chris, that's Tom and right dad himself, my dad Dean. Gents, good evening how once again. Good, good evening. How you doing? Yes, I'm very well. Good? I'm, I'm yeah. all good. I'm all good. We're looking a little bit tense. Are we all right? I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> um, so, I haven't looked anyone in the eye yet. Yeah, yeah. We haven't looked anyone in the eye yet. So, if you haven't seen the um, the title of the of the uh, podcast yet, um, we are doing um, a noughties draft now. About a month ago or so. We put out our 90s draft video where we picked three 90s albums each um, to put into a to put into a pot of what we'd consider our favourite our favourite albums. And I thought we'd do another one because it's it was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, it got had some good um, good interaction and people people seem to enjoy it. So um, this time it's noughties. Anything from the year 2000 all the way to 2009, you can have in your list. And uh, do you want to say it, Tom? The true, true rockabye style. Okay, so the rule will be, and it's a classic rockabye rule. Yeah, you cannot say the same album as somebody else. Absolutely. Yeah. So once that album's been said, yep, it's a goner. That's it. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> okay. And I think there's probably two or three. And that's why that, we're tense. I think. Yeah, that's I, it. think <laughs> I actually think all four of us would pick, could pick the same three. I think so. Yeah. If there was, yeah. If we weren't thinking about it, and yeah. we just went, right, your favourite, I think you'd go... If we had to write them down and all hold them up at yeah. the same yeah. time. Two out of three. Everyone would get two out of three, I reckon. I reckon so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, are we going me first as, as uh, in, in true yeah, rock star? It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. We can go We can go the opposite way around. No, no, no. My, my tendencies would not allow that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'll go, I'll go first. Um... And I'll, I'll 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 give you the benefit of the doubt because I won't pick any of the two or three that that you guys that you guys are picking. Because so I'm going to do a personal one if that's all right. Personal? Uh, yep, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's it's fine. It's you know I can, I can pick whatever I want. Um, but I'm going to go with the Midnight Organ Fight by um by Frightened Rabbit. Cool. My favorite album ever. Um, ten out of ten album. Everybody that's anybody should listen to it. It is unbelievable. Um, and I had the 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 pleasure of going to see Frightened Rabbit just before Scott Hutchinson sadly passed away. And to me it is a perfect album front front to back and um it should be on everybody's turntable. So yeah, in my opinion, everybody should listen to the Midnight Midnight Organ Fight by Frightened Rabbit. Um you know, I'm just gonna double check it is because <laughs> um I can't remember the year. Um I think it's 2008, um, off the top of my head. God forbid this be 2010. Yeah. Can you imagine? Um, Ooh, if I got favorite it, album ever. If I got Bang. it completely wrong, no, 2007. Thank God. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, that's that's my that's my pick. That's um, nice. We're listening to it on Wednesday. I know. Yeah. Out yeah. I did see. I did see. I think it's Wednesday or Thursday. One of them. Yeah. Or well, two yeah. weeks last Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, whenever, yeah, whenever, yeah, yeah. Whenever this For goes you out. people listening in real time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You might have even heard it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have heard it when this goes out. Yeah. So. But yeah, standout tracks. Should we say Ooh. great album already? Or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Should we review it now? Yeah. You are, honestly, you're going to love it. Cool. Can't uh, wait for it. Keep, that one. keep yourself warm. Uh, my Backwards Walk, The Modern Leper, um, Old Old Fashioned, like... If I was to if I was to compile a list of the best Frightened Rabbit songs into a list, it'd probably just be that album with a few off the other. What's the album called again? The Midnight Organ Fight. Yeah. Midnight Organ Fight. Fight. Yeah. Yeah. Just such such a great album. Yeah. So that's that's my pick. Cool. Good. Nice. My turn now. Yeah. It's gonna get heated now. Isn't it? Yeah. I was gonna Look say. Look at the eyes. Look. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. You're... Right. Um, my first one of the noughties has to be the Arctic Monkeys. Whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not. Only because I think it is not only one of the greatest albums ever, oh no, greatest debut albums ever, it's one of the greatest albums ever. 
Yep. And I think it's one of the, the smartest albums. Oh, I think you're about to amazing. explain why. So we, we, me and you went to see him, didn't we? 2006. 2006, me and you went to see him. We'd heard I Bet You Look Good on the dance floor. Yep. Loved it. Uh, two weeks later, I was in a band at the time. Two weeks later, I was covering that song. We did it with probably the first band in the country to cover that song. Just put it out there. You heard it out there. And then they released When the Sun Goes Down and tickets are sold out, didn't they? But we mm-hmm. found some tickets on eBay and we went and the only material they had was the first album and the EP they did. Who yeah. the, could the Arctic Monkeys? Yeah. What an EP that is, by the way. And they played... 10 Inch. All yeah. Of, yeah, 10 Inch. And it is, <laughs> from is. last week. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, they played that. All of that. That's all That's all the material they had. Yep. That's all they know. Yeah. Come on with View in the Afternoon. Yep. Finish with a certain romance oh. in it. Mate, what an album. But the whole album, just, the whole album is about a night out. Yeah, it's, a con- it's a concept album. It's, 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 a, yeah. it's just a great... It's, it's genius. Yep. Genius. View from the afternoon, so <coughs> they're getting ready to go out in the afternoon. Then the next track, um, the Fake Tales of San Francisco. No, Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor. And then mm-hmm. Fake Tales of San Francisco. Right, Van. Mardi Bum. Oh, Dancing right Shoes. Right, right Van. Absolutely. Oh. That, that is horrendously underrated right yeah. Van. oh yeah right that's Van's an awesome song. right Van's amazing lyrics yeah. um still take you home on there dancing shoes uh ballsy, even it? Like, it is ballsy, um, ballsy to come ballsy. out the, come out the gate <laughs> with that album yeah. Yeah. last night these two bounce that's unbelievable and then to finish with a certain romance oh yeah beautiful album yeah um and then yeah dare i say it they did a second album which was all right it was good it was very good actually second album yeah then just slowly went on a decline for me. Well, slowly. until they got to AM. Oh, yeah, yeah AM, yeah, they yeah, went yeah. Back AM and we all went... Yeah, on the back, yeah. finally. <laughs> huh? Here we what? go. <laughs> yeah. I know we won't talk about the last two albums, but yeah, the first album, Arctic Monkeys. Perfect, I think, yeah. I think right. it's There's not yeah. a bad song on it. There's not a bad little... There's not a bad... You don't skip one. There's not a bad verse. There's not a bad anything on it. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I mean? It's one of the albums. You don't skip one. You listen to it in order because <laughs> of the night out of the story. <laughs> But also, you could just listen, you could pick it up at any <laughs> yeah, song. Yeah. You can pick up any yeah. song, and um, how every song has something that you look forward to in that song. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. yeah if you drums, listen, guitar, lyrics. Well, just uh, take a random song. I'm looking at Appetite for Destruction. There, take Sweet Child of Mine. You're looking forward to the solo because you can't wait yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the Arctic Monkeys, every single song has a, an element that you are looking forward to. Whether That's it be solo, a solo That's, whether yeah. it be a drum bit, whether it be a lyric, whether it be something. Just genius. A solo in right van is just oh, oh it's perfect, isn't it? Perfect. Iconic mm. cover. Iconic oh, sleeve. Yeah, yeah. yeah he still the, get, he still gets he still gets stopped in the street. The guy yeah, yeah, in the yeah. front sleeve, doesn't he? And we'll get him in for a podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> take about five minutes to talk. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Makes you look your fag in your mouth. So, yeah. 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 Oh, he's in. Oh, he's in colour. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you pull the record out and the. Center, the the label. It's an ashtray, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's just an ashtray. Yeah, yeah. Ashtray. yeah. not f- fantastic. Fantastic yeah. album. Good choice, Chris Bodden. Good choice would have been mine. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's me. That's my first one. I'm tempted to say it because, but I'd, it's I'd, one I'd, of the I'll three. When I said there's three that we'll all say, yeah. that's got to be well, one of them. All of those. You crushed it out twice. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Tom. Okay. You can't have Arctic Monkeys. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to as well. <coughs> I think it's my may or may not shock shock you for me to have this on my list. Lincoln Park, I've been Oh wow, was not expecting that. That was on my list as well. When yeah yeah, go when on. we sort of discussed at the beginning, we said <laughs> right, we'll do the north, and and then I went yeah, I can think of a few, and then I went I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> my mate's dad uh, bootlegged me it the CD. <laughs> <laughs> Copied it. Copied it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big setup computer thing like yeah. that. It's like, oh, I can get it done for you. All you got to do is buy me the blank CD. Fiver, it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, just write Lincoln Park. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what an album. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable album. Um, not cool. my stuff. Yeah. Um, points of Authority. Yeah. Uh, is it... One step. One step closer. One step closer. In the end. Yeah. Crawling. Is um numb on there. Numb on there, yeah. I yeah. think it is. No, I think num- it's last Numb's on Meteora. I think it is it? Well whatever. We'll fact check it. Yeah. Well, I think. I think the first I track think... I think the first track it well, I seem to remember it is just a great Damn. album. Meteora, that's the same sort of era as well, isn't it? I think it's about two thousand and eight. What Meteora? With Fame. Fixate. 
Nah, num- hey. Num's on that album. Yeah, I think it is now you say it. I got the record store day. Record. Uh, no, it's not on there. No, no, what is, is the first track? Me too. The first track is Paper Cut. Oh, mate, yeah. banger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, Meteor has got... Um, I'm going to absolutely got... batter that album no, when I get home. In about four days' time, because yeah. <laughs> this is our life. Yeah, but, um, yeah great shout. Yeah, and very... I had the, the Linkin Park jeans, the hoodie. Yep. Jeans the with chain. The, the inspired, <laughs> me, inspired me into my career, the chain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. um, and I think they're... I don't, you know, I think they're a, they're a genre a genre on their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, no one's like them, and I don't even know. If someone said, put Linkin Park in a genre. There's no other band, you, really. I wouldn't know which one yeah. would fit best. The only so, other band that would come anywhere near it would be someone like Evanescence. Yeah, Cause they've got but, like rap still element, a, but still. Way off, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way so yeah, Lincoln Park, Hybrid Theory, Chester yeah. Bennington, Chester rest Bennington. Peace. yeah, rest in peace, yeah. What a guy! And uh, have you heard the? Uh, oh, the I know, I know what after, you're gonna say. Year after he died, the crowd singing in oh, the mate. end. Oh, that uh, sung numb, wasn't it? No, it's in the no, end. In the yeah, end. in the end. Yeah, oh, was bit. it at Leeds Fest or Glastonbury? No, it was at the special memorial. I think it was at his memorial gig. Yeah. Memorial oh, was it? Gig. Oh, right. Yeah, Where they had ring, loads that, of that rings the bell Loads now, of people yeah. come to fill in for Chester for the Linkin Park songs. Oh, and then they they got got like Dave Grohl there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. It was. Um, yeah, everyone, everyone turned up. Everyone who's anyone. Yeah, but and then, then in the, the end, crowd was just they were the they were the Chester. What's it? Um, oh, the, yeah, I know. I'm not this. Um. They were the Chester, weren't they? Yeah, it, and yeah. it was just like I could. I think if I sat here long enough and thought about it, I would probably cry. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that that chilling, good, yeah, beautiful yeah. everything, every emotion, everything you can imagine. Mm. So that album and very influential. I mean, I I love that album. Yeah, growing up, and that's what this is all about. So there, beautiful, Dad. Over to you. Over to you. Um, okay, so <clears throat> my first choice will be. Frank Turner, Love Iron Song. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was on my list. That's, was a, that's a good choice. Yeah, 2008 stroke 2009. Yeah. Um, again, not a bad track on it. Mm-hmm. It is one heck of an album. Mm-hmm. It really, really, I mean, um, it's beginning at the beginning. <laughs> it's just like yeah. photosynthesis. Yeah. Queen is dead. It's just long live just, the queen. Long live the queen. Sorry, love our own song. Substitute. Yeah, substitute. Absolutely, it is just. Yeah, yeah, it is just a, a, a banging <laughs> album. Are you the one who got me into Frank? Well, you both got me into Frank yeah, yeah. Turner, and we, I remember taking you, the three boys, to Cambridge Corner Exchange, and I was like, in all where we saw the Arctic Monkeys. Cambridge yeah. Corner yeah, Exchange yeah. is like the, that's, that's yeah. seen some gigs, isn't it? It's yeah. like the uh, it's like the mecca of yeah, yeah. Mecca of it is isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If I ever get a phone call, if any of you saying, do you want to go to Cambridge Corner Exchange tonight? I'll be like. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I know that in 10 years' time we'll, we'll be, be talking, talking about, about it tonight. Yeah. 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 So Season 11 of the <laughs> record. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? Of, but the, the, the gigs that I've seen down there, I mean, amazing. But it's so just a different array of yeah, yeah. Of, of music yeah, yeah. that I've listened to. You know, I've seen Jason Mraz there. I've seen um, Stuart Lee down there yeah, doing yeah. a comedy sketch. I've seen, you know... Yeah. Well, you know, I've seen Bullet Bob Valentine there. Yeah, yeah it's, exactly. It's, like, metal it's gigs. like, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so Love Our Own Song, uh, Frank Turner is probably one of my favourite nineties. Uh, sorry, two thousands albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an unbelievable yeah. album. Unbelievable yeah. album. Yeah. <coughs> if you're listening, Frank, yeah, you've you've done well. Not his debut yeah. album though. No, 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 not, no, no, no. What's the debut album called? Um, Sleepers for the Week. Sleepers for the Week. That's a good album as well. It's a great album. Yeah. yeah. Um, but not as good as Love Our Own Song. I think Love Our Own Song is. Top tier, unbelievable! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah cool. cool, good shout, very good shout. Cool. cool. In true rockabye fashion, then we'll go in reverse order. Whoa! So you can, um, so yeah, but me again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've said I, I had to go and check the the date on this one. Yeah. Um, but I think it's thirty seconds to Mars. This is war. Yeah. I really, really love that album. It's. <laughs> it's just Jared Leto's voice is just it'll I mean I never saw you saw him at Birmingham didn't you you, you yeah. Went, yeah and and Jared Leto's voice is oh my goodness how the heck does he do that and he does it live as well and my and, and my the, 
the standout track on that album is Alibi for me. Yeah. Um, and I remember driving down to Centre Parks and you said, Dad, I've got to play your song. And I was like, play an album. What yeah. the, f- what the heck is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What am I listening to? I got all cold thinking about it. It is abs- it was absolutely blew me away. And you played Alibi to me and I mm. had tears in me. I was driving it, driving it. It was snowing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like minus 10. And we dropped, stopped off at the OK Diner in Newark because I, yeah. I had to compose myself. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and it, because it was just, and if you haven't heard Alibi off the 30 Seconds to Mars, this is War album, you need to listen to it because it, it will, mm. it is spine chillingly. <laughs> Fantastic. Mm. So that's my second choice. Do you know what I find fascinating? Go on. As much as Dad thinks that he influences us with music, yeah, yeah, he's just banged off Frank Turner yeah. and Thirty Seconds to Mars, yeah, uh, which is, <laughs> yeah, you know, music is music, and at the end of the day, yeah, and you can, you can, you know, you're um, you're as much as influenced to me as I am to you. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so mm-hmm. well, thank you for introducing me to Frank Turner and you know Thirty, 30 Seconds, seconds to, Mars. to Mars because yep. you know, there you go. What can I say? Right, Tom, over to you. <clears throat> I'm gonna do all that. Um, <coughs> is yeah, go on. is a bit of a one it wonder really. Um, influential on my life. The record itself is over hundred pound record. Um, and that is Hard Fire Stars of CCTV. Ooh, okay, right, okay. I think saw them support Green Day, didn't we? We saw them support Green yeah, Day, 2006. Five, yeah, 2005, 2006. Yeah. Is that sort of album time? Yeah, they were um, it, weren't they? Just yeah, they were good, yeah. First opened, band weren't they? Opened. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant <coughs> band. Um, shame there wasn't. I think there is a second, I think there is another album. There, that, a song called Suburban Nights. And the, the I don't remember the, the seven inch, I'm sure it just said, um, place fancy picture of band here or something yeah, yeah. like that on the right. thing yeah um so living for the weekend hard to beat hard to beat's a great song isn't it in it in it um, <laughs> yeah it's a great album it's yeah, yeah you can i love it i've always loved that album from <coughs> release to right now um very very much a i just remember it was one that in i'd have had a little tiny little CD radio, yeah, yeah, for Christmas off, like an art, you know, yeah, yeah. the auntie you see once a year mm-hmm. and they get you something, <laughs> yeah, and that, and uh, it have just, I'd have just battered that CD, um, so yeah, stars of CCTV, <coughs> hard fire, cool, good album, good album. Personally, not listened to it, so yeah, right, so give, yeah. give it a go. Album. It's yeah. um, it is, it's not overly kind of, it's just, a, it's quite a poppy rock album, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's your indie. Kind of, Exactly. If you were to listen to it, you'd probably go. I bet Tom Berger like this album. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good album. All right, cool. my turn again. Yeah. All right. There's a few in my head. Obviously, we've all got a few, haven't we? Yeah. But I think one of the albums uh, that almost rev- not revolutionised, changed my life. Probably, yeah. Changed my life. Send Away the Tigers, Manic Street Preachers. Oh, what a great, what a fantastic <laughs> that was, choice. For me, probably, in my opinion, their best album. Yeah, I think so too. Only because I kind of grew up, I was at that age. Obviously, I wasn't old enough to appreciate Everything Must Go when it came out, yeah, or yeah. The Holy Bible, or um, Gold Against Soul. But in 2007, when they released Send Away the Tigers, yeah. I was into music. I was yeah, 16. You know, 16. Yeah. I was discovering rock, and then that came out with Your Love Alone Is Not Enough, you know, Underdog. Then they released Autumn Song. Autumn Song. <laughs> Autumn Song. I've got, hot, I've got yeah, a horrible yeah. cough today. Um, Autumn Song. Then we went to see them live at De Montford Hall on that tour, didn't we? And they were, and we saw them at the Cambridge Corn Exchange. Yeah, Cambridge Corn Exchange. Same tour. Of, yeah. Obviously. First, <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> in classic rockabye fashion, first, you went to the first Cambridge or second Corn Exchange. date was Cambridge <laughs> Corn Exchange on the tour, wasn't it? And we thought, should we just go again? Yeah. And we went to the yeah. same tour. Yeah, same the end tour. of the tour was the Leicester to Montfort. I bet it was good going yeah. to a different venue. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't like it that much. We went back to the Cambridge Coin <laughs> Exchange to see Frank Turner. But yeah. Yeah, Send Away the Tigers. Um, what else is on there? Indian Summer is on there. Um, my favourite with the double bass. What's that one? Underdog, isn't it? No. Um, Imperial Body Bags. Imperial Body Bags. Oh, great track. And then, um, last track, is it Winter Flowers? Whatever it's called. 
Unbelievable album. Um, you are uh, just a patsy. Just a patsy. Just a yeah. patsy's on there. So yeah, if you love the Manic Street Preachers but ha- haven't got as far as Send Away the Tigers, I think it's some of their best work. Yep. That they did. Yeah, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, have you think, done it? I don't think I have. Oh mate. Oh mate. Right. Well, I don't want to talk to you tomorrow until you've done it. <laughs> I'll let you know. I know you've First got a week off. So. First thing in the morning. Yeah. Send away, send away the Tigers. tigers. Yep. You'll, yeah. you'll get a message off me at quarter past four. Done it. First track. <laughs> There's another one beginning with R. What is it called? Renegades. Rendition. Rendition, rendition. Isn't Renegades on there as well? No, oh, Renegades is um, Feeder, sorry. Yeah. Rendition. Winter <laughs> Lovers, I was thinking of. You ever seen Feeder at the uh, Second Cambridge Great Cambridge Depression. Depression. Second Great Depression. I thought that was a, what do you call it? I thought that was a thing, you want to call it, um, a James Jim Bradfield when we saw him with the Great Western tour. Yeah. No, Second Great Depression. That Second is Great Depression. Album. Oh, Sunny Album. Yeah, absolutely it's good choice. Album. Mm. And then bonus track was Working Class Hero by John Lennon. John Lennon, mm. yeah. So, well, there you go. That. So over to you, Dan. <laughs> cool. Um, so my turn. <laughs> God, this, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, there's so many, um, so many albums I can think of. Almost too much to yeah, choose Yeah, I know, there's a lot there? to choose from, because it's our era, isn't it? It's, like, it's yeah. us growing up. Yeah, this is us growing up, and I, I can't... I can literally feel myself being, like, 13, and all these yeah. albums just going, yeah. Vroom, yeah. Vroom, yeah. like, them releasing, and them coming out, and seeing the posters in the windows yeah, yeah. the shops, and... Um, hearing the songs, yeah. Cause it, we're probably the last. We're probably the last generation of people before st- music was just available. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, readily yeah. available. And you'd hear one or two singles, then you'd buy the album. Then you yeah. discover like that, you know, track ten on the album that yep. yeah. is just an album track that's the best song you've ever heard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So on that note, I can't believe we've done seven albums. We haven't even touched the surface with American Idiot by <sighs> yeah. Green Day. Best. Was that the other one that you were thinking of? <laughs> that is. So yeah. if we're all holding up. Yeah, yeah. If we were all yeah. holding up, Arctic Monkeys and Green Day American Idiot, both on the list. Yeah. I would have chosen American Idiot as well. American Idiot is to me, like when I when I think Era about defining. Yeah, when when I think about growing up and listening to music, besides from the stuff that we had on at home that was kind of part of part of our family, do you know what I mean? Like globally, that is one of the greatest albums that has ever been made. American Idiot, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, Holiday, Jesus of Suburbia, Jesus of Suburbia which is St. Wake Jimmy, Me Up When September Ends. Wake Me Up When September Ends. First, it's like, she's a rebel. It's like, what? Yeah. First like, five songs of the gig, yeah. weren't it? Yeah. yeah. Was the first five songs of the album? When we, think, we went to go see him. What the heck are you doing? We yeah. went to go see him. They come on with American Idiot. Yeah. Then went straight into Jesus of Suburbia. Yeah. Then Holiday. And we're like, yeah. It's the greatest gig ever. How cool is Billy Joe Armstrong as well? Oh, it's, it's, yeah, he's, as yeah. A, as a guy, just cool, There's isn't another it? song on there. Um, well. But yeah, um, I think, like, go on. No, there's another song that, like you were just saying, like you listen to the album when it first comes out, you fall in love with it, but then maybe 10 years you later... You fall in love with American Idiot. But then 10 the years later, you listen to it and you think, flipping egg, has this song been on the album this whole time? Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, no, I don't want, I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want to play it. We're not allowed to play it, are we? <laughs> yeah. Um, other songs are available. Um... <laughs> Homecoming. <laughs> Home- is, I'm not going to play it. Yeah, nine minutes long. Homecoming. Yeah, yeah. And you think, where the nine hell minutes that I do. song been on? Do you know what, as well? American, the album American Idiot. Sorry, I know this is your bit. <laughs> it's all right. But um, <laughs> that song was new <laughs> for five... Bit, that sorry. song, yeah. That song was new for five years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I started... That came out when I, I started secondary school, 2004. And everyone was, don't want to be an American idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the songs are available. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I left school to two songs. Yeah. In the Leavers Assembly. Spice Girls, Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and Wait Me Up When September Ends. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Defining. All through there. And it, I went, I went, oh, I saw that Green Day album. It's five years old at that point. Yeah. Yeah. They're probably done. Two of their albums. I think we probably I, did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, American Idiot was in music terms old by then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was new. Yeah. It was still new in two thousand and nine. Yeah. And I was still now, I would still go in a record shop and well, this record shop. Uh <laughs> and say yeah. and uh and there are other point record out, shops Yeah, other record shops are available. <laughs> um, and point out American Idiot and go like, oh, I need to get that. 
yeah. still sell them in the shop, don't we? Yeah, we do, yeah. Yeah, big sellers. People will buy that. Yeah. Timeless. 20 years old. People will buy that forever. Yeah. And whenever I go into a charity shop and it's on CD for 50p, I'll always buy it. Yeah, not yeah. got a CD player. I think I've got about 18 copies at home. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but you haven't yeah, got like 19. Will, yeah. That's like <laughs> what like will gets around. Yeah. So I've got to yeah. buy it every time it's in a medical shop. I've got a stack of definitely maybe like that at home. Yeah. But yeah, for me, I, was, I think I think it just defined a lot of people's childhood, and I'll, I'll go on, go on a limb and say that it's like it's almost like the it's almost like the end of like the heyday of of like really really good music. Mm. Do you know what mm. I mean? I, yeah. d- I don't it know whether like, I'm just should we just do one more and then we'll finish. Uh, and yeah, that's it's, it's, it's almost like <laughs> I don't know whether I'm being um, just a bit um, I don't know obnoxious by saying that, but like it, it almost like almost like. Are we ever going to top that? Yeah. Like of of like modern music. Do you know what I mean? There's there's yeah. a lot of good music obviously out now, um, but like for people to get excited about like God, like American. have you listened to American Idiot? Like well, have they made you played a stage show on it? There's a stage American show. Yeah, American that's it. Idiot yeah, stage show now, isn't there? And like I just remember, <coughs> I remember the American Idiot music videos. I remember the you know the one with Holiday it was a Boulevard of Broken Boulevard Dreams Broken where they're walking along and the uh, yeah. and the set behind is it, it um, is... Holiday and Boulevard of Broken Dreams yeah they're uh, together one, right? one, yeah. one, one track same with Jesus of Suburbia yeah. and yeah. what's the other one you got St. Jimmy that goes into doom god doom do, doom is Jesus of Suburbia oh, we, not a yeah. double one Jesus of Suburbia is one song oh right okay. about yeah. ten songs in one yeah yeah because yeah. they break it up don't they it's unbelievable anyway anyway that's um, that's my I remember that's the, my, uh, the, the, the amazing feeling of uh, learning to play Holiday on the na, 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 yeah. that yeah. bit on uh, guitar and then going like <gasps> yeah. afterwards yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I am Green Day yeah <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's my pick very, very good yeah, shout fantastic yeah probably the number one for me yeah, yeah. Honourable mentions or not? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're still doing yeah, another one. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Right. No. Oh, so we're, doing, we're doing another one. I know we've just oh, done Ameri- oh, I know sorry. it's American <laughs> Idiot, but they're that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. End of game. Okay, I thought we'd just <laughs> two each. We're doing three each. Oh, three each. Oh, yeah, okay, classic rocker bar. Come on. So okay, it's Dan's yeah. Go again. Okay. Honourable yeah. mentions. No, that was Dan's Go, wasn't it? Yeah, you come back around the same way, don't you? Yeah, but you had one before that, didn't you? No. No, no. Oh, no, he did, he did the first one, didn't he? No, yes. Frightened Rabbit. No, yeah, you're fine. We can say, yeah, what have we got so far? We've got Frightened Rabbit. Yep. What uh, people say? Arctic Monkeys. Linkin Park. Linkin Park. Park. Frank Turner. Yep. 30 Seconds to Mars. Hard Fi. Hard Fi. Send Away the Tigers, Mandatory Preachers. And Green Day, American Idiot. Yep. Right, you'll go again. Cool. And like you just said, music didn't get better after Green Day, American Idiot. Yeah, that's so what I mean. What are you picking now? Exactly. That's a it's a tricky one. I've got I've got two in my head and I can't pick between the two. Um, all right. Well, if we're doing honorable, honorable mentions, then I'll just say uh, uh, "Voodoo" by D'Angelo. Yeah, good show. Um, yeah, album. the year two thousand. So it's just before American Idiot. I'll get away with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fine, yeah. Um, I, I mentioned Brown Sugar in the um, in the nineties one, but "Voodoo" is another level. Um, untitled. Um, oh man, it's one of the best songs. It's just so good. Um, Feel like making love. Um, just song after song, just unbelievable, unbelievable vibe, unbelievably good song, uh, and uh, unbelievably good album. And the last album by D'Angelo, yeah. I, I still can't Did believe. Yeah, I still can't believe he just doesn't ha- hasn't made anything else. And uh, yeah, one of the best R and B albums of all time. And yeah, and the so, reason he hasn't done any other, you know, he's done interviews. Yeah, and they say like, why are you not doing another album? He goes. I'm happy with them two, and I haven't really got much to write about at the moment. That's so it, yeah. I'm not sure I write. I'm not sure I make an album for the sake of it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. great as well. Yeah, that's a great. Some attitude. people just make albums just for the sake of it, like, churn them out. For example, like, the car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just churn them out. But yeah, D'Angelo. Yeah. Um, so yeah, one of one of my favorite records, and uh, I'll never ever get bored of it. Yeah. So does that's... he gig anymore or not? He no. just disappeared off face of the planet. Yeah, I think he does a bit of writing with other people and I think he I think he's probably like you said, just 
Who knows? He might be just working in a coffee shop around the corner. Could just do, yeah. And, um, royalties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, an incredible album, and you, ev- ev- I think everybody should listen to it. Yeah. Might not be everyone's thing. It's um, you know, it's got some of the best players on it. It's got Pino Palladino, uh, Quest Love, um, yeah, John Mayer's bass player, um, and yeah, Dion- <laughs> oh no, what are you doing to me? Oh wow, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that one. Oh, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry, I uh, completely went off tangent then. This but what yeah. happens. Yeah, sorry. Um, so yeah, D'Angelo. That's mine. That's my All third right. one. Go on. Oh, no, I can't anymore. Yeah, it's <laughs> just throw the right <laughs> thing into it, isn't it? Um, um, I've got... Oh, man. It's definitely in that era. It is, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to say it. I'm going to have to. Because I reckon... Otherwise it won't get said. Otherwise it will get said in an honourable mention, but... It's worth more. Yeah. John Mayer, Continuum. Yeah. Yeah. That just didn't clock until you said Pino Palladino for D'Angelo. Yep. And it triggered this real weird train of thought. So yeah, John Mayer, Continuum. That is one of the reasons why I play the guitar. Mm -hmm. It's because of that album. And he, very, very few albums that change your life and revolutionise your life. And that is one of them. Well, it's the, that is the album. You know, to have songs on there like Gravity, Slow Dancing in a Burning Room. Mm-hmm. Uh, Open, we, we saw him last week, didn't we? Yeah, saw, the, the saw him last week. Yeah, it yeah. opened with Slow Burning and yeah, Slow Dancing, slow yeah. Burning dancing in a Burning Room. Yeah. Slow Burning in a Dancing Room. I know. Yeah. Thinking, what? I know. Yeah. It's mad. What was John I saw him the next day. John Mayer. Yeah. Love yeah. you, mate. Welcome on the podcast anytime, you name it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll even do. We'll, even do, we'll even do a Zoom call with I'll you. Even, no, I'll even it? come over to the U, to the US. <laughs> yeah. To, anyway, yeah. No. Um, but the whole like, he does "Boulders Love" by jo- by Jimi Hendrix, and his version is just unbelievable. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely unbelievable. Mm. Stop this train. But it's not just the actual songs; it's the, everything that goes with the production. On yeah, it is amazing. I Gravity played. when it comes to uh, yeah. what's it called the vocal recording. Yeah, yeah. Gravity. I did I tell you that one? Yeah. Yeah. Where he um recorded it with nothing on it. Yeah. No no effects, no reverb, no compression, no anything. Just straight like we're talking here. And they put it in, didn't they? And he said Well the the, the engineer forgot to to do anything with his vocals. Yeah. Forgot to do it. And he said, Oh got your got your record ready, mate. Um do you want to come and listen to it in the studio? John Mayer came along and said, Oh, what you've done to my vocals sound sound lovely. He said, Oh, Actually, it's not, pl- bloody, anything, it's, not yeah. pl- it's not plugged in. I, I forgot to plug it in, and just said it's perfect. It's just like raw, it. so no, just no reverb, no compression, no EQ, nothing. nothing. Is, As it was recorded straight into you? the microphone, nothing. None, none of that. So nothing. Whatever he did, <clears throat> that's what you're hearing. But then, yeah, which is um, unheard of in in yeah. in music. Yeah, even you know records back in the bloody fifties would have some, yeah, yeah. some sort of EQ. Yeah, um, but yeah. Um, I'm going to find another you. Yeah. Last track. Um, Vultures. Vultures. Belief. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable he album. Be- he- belief. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. He did, yeah, didn't he? did he? that, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Off the cuff. Off the cuff. Somebody shouted belief and he went, hey, I've never done that before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it works on acoustic and then did the whole song perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? As, if, as if it's like, just shout belief. Will you? Yeah. <laughs> so he's, yeah. yeah as, but as a wait guitarist. Wait on the world change. <laughs> wait on the world change. Opener. Starts Opener. With, yeah. Yeah. First track on the album. Yeah. That's um, from uh, Evan Almighty, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it was. In Evan yeah. Almighty. That's a very niche reference. That's a that, very, isn't it? very. <laughs> it's a what? I won't be bragging about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that? That's from, <laughs> that's, from, that's, from, that's from Evan or not Almighty is what you've just said. <laughs> well, no, it was, it was a bang well, average it, film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. In, Evan it's, Almighty. It's in Evan mind. Almighty, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> but hey, when I, I think it, of waiting on the world's chair, I don't think of Evan Almighty. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you know what? When I think of Evan Almighty, I always think of <laughs> waiting on the world's chair. Oh change. no. Yeah. <laughs> my question. Yeah. Is, yeah, it's uh, in that song. In my, that film. Yeah. Is has he ever played the Cambridge Corn Exchange? Oh, he yeah. probably has. Yeah. He must have done. What, you weren't there? But no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> no. I've only ever seen him at the O2. Uh, Three times I've seen him. I saw him. him at Birmingham Arena. Oh, yeah, you saw him on the Battle with, Studies Tour, didn't you? Rowan. Shout out to Rowan. Yeah. <laughs> he does listen to this podcast, actually. Battle Studies Tour, wasn't it? Battle Studies yeah. Tour, yeah. Which um, is another great album from the 2000s. That is from two, that's 2008, that is. Yeah, it is. Battle Studies. Played yeah. it in the restaurant a lot, didn't we? Do you remember? Cool. Mm-hmm. Then you got um, Room for Squares. 
amazing album. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I can go on forever about John Mayer. So yeah, incredible guitarist, revolutionised guitar player for me. Huge influence. Banging. Yeah. Over to you, Tom. God, I've got a surprise for you, I think. I don't think it is going to be a surprise. Go on. Really? Yeah. What do you think? Just say what you think and I'll... I uh, think you're going to say the Libertines. No. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Go on. The, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Baby shambles. No. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eminem, the Eminem show. <gasps> Ooh. Did you? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Eminem, the Eminem show. Right. Wow. Not Marshall Mathers. No, that's 90s, I think. That's 2000, I just checked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, was my li- that was on my list. Oh, the Eminem show. Just because it's, I say influence on me, um, similar to American Idiot, it was the Eminem album that came out and it was... For me, before that, all I ever knew, I think all anyone ever knew really was my name is The Real Slim Shady, Guilty Conscience, Stan, Stan, all those. And then this came out without me. Yeah. Yeah. Watch it on MTV and VH1. Yeah, that video, the Batman and Robin video. it's an unbelievable video. Remember it forever. Yeah. Um, Yeah, great album. Sing for the moment. Mm -hmm. Absolutely Mm-hmm. I mentioned that in a previous yep. when I wanted Elton John to do the <laughs> the uh, who is it? Is it Prince? No, no, Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Came on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the sample. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. yeah. Prince. <laughs> um, and I think I want to say clean out my closet. And I remember, the, yeah, it was around the time growing up. It was massive. It was in the shops. Eight Mile was coming out. Yep. Um, just check see if cleaning out my closet's on there for me. On what? The M and M show. I don't just, think it is. I thought that. Was I on think that's after. I thought, I thought it was on Eight Mile, wasn't it? No. It, yeah. Cleaning out my closet. Not without me. Uh, what we get at? the M and M show. Um. Oh, it's different cover look. Yeah, he's red one. The one I. Um, cleaning out my closet is on there. Without me, single is on there. Moment. Four. Mm-hmm. four. Cleaning out my closet. Yeah, you're right. Business, let's get down to business. Yeah. 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 Um, music stops, but look how he's featuring on it. you got Dr. Dre, D12, Nate Dogg. Yeah, Ronnie yeah. Trice, all fe- just featuring. Just, sit- just 50 can cent. you do us a favour? Yeah. 50 <laughs> Cent sitting there like yeah. it's towards the end of the track, look. Towards yeah. the end of the album. So that is the expanded one, though, so. That's why it'll still be the original, won't it? There's your original. There's your original. That's the one that I had on. Yeah. Hayley's yeah. song. Yeah. His lyrics are so real. Yeah, about what he's what he's talking about. He's talking about his actual life at that moment. Yeah, um, and just fantastic, genius, just it? absolute genius. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that is why, yeah, my third and final choice has been the Eminem show by Eminem. Good yeah. choice. Nice. That's three. Well, probably one predictable and two shockers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. For me. Yeah, Dad. Right, Dad. I think, he's, I think he's going to say my <laughs> one that I was going to say. Really? Go on. Okay, I don't think it is. Okay. Personally, I think it's Stereophonics. Just enough education to perform. Oh, my God, yes. Just, just enough education to perform. Jeep. I'd what? just call it yeah. Jeep, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Expand. Go on. Because I... I love that album, do you not? It's all right. I saw the... I saw the <laughs> yeah, it's one of them. I, I saw the um, Surfonics when they first came out in uh, 97 and fell in love with them. And then Where did you see, see them? Um, I saw them at the Cambridge Junction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cambridge Junction. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them at the Cambridge Junction twice. And then I went to see them in uh, Kettering, I think it was. And yeah, I know. Kettering? What were they doing? Yeah. Shopping or something? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's no. the social club. <laughs> yeah. British they were the Black Bull or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas do. There, the, the there, yeah. there was a band called Laxton Superb were supporting them. And then uh, that was with the, on the Performance Cocktails tour. And then I went to see them in Norwich at the um, University of East Anglia. And then I went to see them on this Jeep tour. And it was with Mr. Writer. Mm. Have a nice day. 
and it was just handbags and glad rags. Handbags and glad rags. Yeah. yeah, and it was just a breath of fresh air. B side to Mr. Writer. Um, don't let me down. And it Stereophonics. Yeah. Um, Beatles. Yeah, yeah, Beatles. Yeah, yeah. Found um, charity shop, didn't we? Yeah, it was a breath, another breath yeah. of fresh air. You know, and it's I just a, it it's just a superb yeah. album. You know, um, I don't think it's, I, I think that Kelly Jones is a fantastic songwriter. Yeah. Great I think voice. I think Kelly Jones has got a, the, one of the uh, the voices that will it, that you, as soon as you hear him, yeah, it's Kelly Jones, mm-hmm. you know. And there's still a Stuart Cable playing the drums at the time, mm-hmm. and I think it was just around the time when they were having a bit of a, a rift, and and it was it was it was really a really sad story with Stuart Cable, but you know, Seraphonics will always be in my top in my top five. Yeah. Um, Bands of all time, yeah. they're just they're just yeah, they're just they're just so prolific with their with their stuff, you know. And, and do you listen to the later stuff as well? Later stuff, yeah, 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 it's banging, it's banging. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. you know, yeah, I don't keep think banging it out, don't they? Yeah, they, but they, they just still keep sound on like doing it. Yeah, they do. And they're not just a band that churn out no, no, no records. They're actually producing solid albums. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're not like like Arctic Monkeys. There's a difference between yeah. whatever people say I am and the car and the car. Yeah, like mm-hmm. two different bands. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you listen. You listen to stuff like on on um, on World Gets Around, and then you listen to a song that probably eighteen years later, you know, before anyone knew her name. Yeah. You know. Or Mister and Mrs Smith. Have you yeah. ever heard that one? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Brilliant. And you think it's just, it, it, they're just so Stereophonics are, are, are just are just a, an awesome band. Yeah. Mm. You know, and Jeep is going to be in my t- in my t- in, in there cool, in my two cool. thousands. Yeah. Cool, cool. Good cool. shout. Good shout. Nice. That's a good list. Did you also know about the Stereophonics, right? Here's the thing, right? <laughs> Here it goes. Every single album title, right, has a line in one of the songs of that album. Oh, right. Right? Yeah. There well, you the go. Time, wasn't the last time I'll leave it to work it out, but I'll give you... I'll give you... Yeah, like yeah. yeah, when do they say that? I'll give, <laughs> no, I'll give you... I'll give you one... I'll give you one... Um, you have to work it all out, right? I, but I on word, word gets on word gets around. It's on yeah. Billy Davies' daughter. Yeah. The last line in it is "Word gets around." Performance right? of cocktails. Yeah, well, I'll leave you work it out. No, all right, you don't know it, do you? Yeah, no, no, you <laughs> don't. Yes, I do. It's on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's the sort of thing they do. They do. They do. Yeah. So yeah. I'll, Trust I'll, me. I'll, I'll like listen to the entire Black Catalog trying to get. Trying it's to like when it. someone names the film. Yeah, in yeah. the film. Yeah, yeah. When someone says. The, f- the name I mean, of the film. You see Gladiator? Like, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Love that. Anyway, go on. We need to go back to the future too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, cool, yeah. Honourable mentions. Do we want to... I've got a couple. I've got, I've got a bloody load. So yeah, I, have, I, yeah, so. I could probably... Yeah. Um, one of my favourite records. Yeah. One of my favourite records, Bon Iver, um, Forever, Forever Ago. Yeah. Um, Sign No More by Mumford and Sons. Yeah, cool. Um, Back to Black by Amy Winehouse. Yeah, yeah, I, that was that was it. Yeah. I was on the verge of I was saying going back that. to black. Yeah, yeah. It's over there. Um, the one that Amy's. I was going to say before we mentioned Pino Palladino was My Chemical Romance, The Black Parade. Oh yeah, yeah. Great. nice. So that um, I went into HMV to buy. I can't remember what album I was buying, and I saw my mate Tom there. Different Tom, not you. Tom Withers, his name was. I plucked that out of the back of my head. Yeah. Shout um, out Tom Withers. I was yeah. like, oh, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 yeah. I said to him, what are you doing here? He goes, I'll buy the new Michael Chemical Romance album. I was like, I never bloody, who, who are they? Well, I'd never heard of them. I thought, Joe, you know I'll give it a go as well. Bought it. And that was. You'd never do that now, do you? Well, not yeah, you, exactly, but I mean, yeah. people don't do that people now. Don't. Yeah, I'll buy that. That's what I mean. You know We're the last generation. I had a bit of money in my pocket. to do that. Yeah, I'll have that as well. I think I was getting an Avenged Sevenfold album, which is another one as well. City of Evil. That's another honourable mention. Um, yeah, and bought it there and then. Yeah. So, My Chemical Romance, mm-hmm. Parade. Avenged Sevenfold, City of Evil. One of, yeah, one of the best metal rock albums. Yeah, in my opinion. Mm. Uh, Fight Star, Grand Unification. Went to see him on Friday. And Charlie Simpson's known for being a busted yep. and being a solo artist and in Fightstar. And he's come out in interviews and said, look, I do busted for the money. I do Fightstar because I love it. And you can tell. Yeah. Because yeah. he just rocks that Different, stage. Yeah. Oh, he's just unreal. He can scream. He can shout. He can play guitar. There's fire. There's flames. Mm. Flipping brilliant. 
Um, so yeah, that'll be another honourable nice. mention. Any more? Yeah. Libertines up the bracket. Yeah. Libertines by the Libertines. Yeah. <laughs> Kasabian by Kasabian. Yeah. As in the debut album. Um, would really be in my list probably over M- Eminem. I just think Eminem's was perhaps bigger yeah, sorry. away yeah. from me. Yeah, yeah. Kasabian yeah, yeah. would be more personal to me. A bit like I had I already had hard fire for that. Um Baby Shambles. What's it called? Down down the Albion? Never listened to it. Good album. Um uh the second Arctic Monkeys album, which is called My Favourite Favourite Worst Nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Foo Fighters as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wasting, Wasting Light. Mm-hmm. Feeder. Feeder. Yeah. Missed them, haven't we? Mm. Rogers, uh, I was thinking yeah. Feeder. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was it? Seven Days in the Sun. Yeah. That's a great song. Love that song. Yeah, yeah. I do. Well. I think that's nice. That's a heavy song, isn't it, as well? That guitar sounds and really heavy. Seven days. You know, I heard that. This is way off. I remember watching the news, the sport bit of the news, and Leeds United had been knocked out of the Champions League. And they did like their journey, and that was the song was behind the song. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. That was the song behind well, it, that and really that happen. is where I liked feeder from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so shout out Leeds United. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I think there'd be more. There'd be more. Yeah. Yeah. But, there's loads. But yeah, go on. Uh, Jason Mraz. Mm. I was thinking that as well. Yeah. Yeah. We dance. We wear See, clothes. We wear hats. We steal things. Whatever yeah. it's called. Um, superb album absolutely yeah. not a bad track on that album mm-hmm. it is banging seen him a couple of times live never never ever fails to you know yeah. disappoint he's brilliant um, I think I uh, would go with uh, Marshall Mathers mm-hmm. Marshall Mathers is is, is 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 was one album that I really really loved you know um, the Marshall Mathers LP Marshall Mathers LP yeah yeah is that right? Yeah, I think it's nine ninety nine though. That's two thousand. Just checked. Oh. Oh, I thought it was nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, it's just I've just checked two thousand. Yeah, I thought it was nine. Maybe maybe the real Slim Shady's nine ninety nine. Yeah, the yeah, album came Could out. Be. Yeah, the yeah, album came out. Yeah. When did Grace Jeff Buckley come out? That's nineties. No, that's nineties. Ninety seven, ninety eight. Was it uh, way earlier? Ninety three, I think. Was it ninety three? Did you listen to Grace then? Yeah, I did. It's brilliant. You like it? It's yeah, I didn't like it when I first heard it. Yeah, but it's. It was. It is. A, awesome. It is a. It is a terrific album. That's goodbye. Uh, no, no, four. Okay. Four. Yeah, I'm yeah. way out then. Sorry. Yeah. That was um, no good on Pop Master. Died in yeah. Two thousand. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. That's what. That's why I'm getting mixed up. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I can. I can still. I still got loads on my list. Jay Diller, Donuts. Mm. Um. Sadly passed away in two thousand and six. Or so. Um. Unbelievable album. Oh, I just had one. I can't remember it. Already. Oh, gorillas, Damon Days. Oh, oh, I wasn't thinking Demon that one. Days, yeah, Gorillas, good shout. Yeah. I didn't really like Demon Days. I don't think. Or is that? Oh, my, There's two, it. isn't there? Yeah, I can't remember if that's the one that I'm Kid A. Of. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> No, it's Demon no. Days. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one, yeah. yeah. Of all the music that came out that we've just... Uh, no, you're winding me up now. <laughs> <laughs> I said it to wind you Of up. all the music that Amnesia. came out, we've just named some banging albums. Yeah. And what how, what went through Tom York's head? And he went... <laughs> yeah, and he went... Green Day America. I'm going to compete with that. Yeah. I'm going to put this... I out. know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll throw my laptop at the wall and yeah. see what happens. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Record. Yeah. I'll, anyway. get, I'll get 125 monkeys in and we can yeah. just type a load of words and I'll just yeah. put them together. It's like I've dropped my laptop out the window, yeah, pick it back do. up and I'll process whatever that's, noise it makes. That's made. track four, that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I won't release a single. Yeah. Bless him, yeah. Oh, dear. Anyway. Shout out, Tom York. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Shout out, Tom. All right, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Uh, and, uh, and Songs About Jane. That's the other one that I was thinking about of. Jane. Yeah. yeah, but Keen, look, Hopes and Fears, another great album. Yeah. Mm. You know? Yeah, another there's, there's, there's a lot. Um, oh, Killers, Hot Fuss. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> have yeah. we got this have far? We, that? That yeah. really we, could have done, we could have done 10 each, I reckon. We could have. Yeah. Killers, Hot Fuss is an incredible... It's our time, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah. Debut album as well. Was it? That's Yeah, debut wow. album. That was Sprite side, on it? Yeah. To come out the bat with, yeah, first track, Jenny was a friend of mine. Yeah. That's a good album. Mm. You like Fair that play. one? Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you, you very much. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we're just... Notice there's no Oasis on this list as well. Yeah. yeah. 
All nineties Oasis is. No, I've, Oasis did some two thousands albums. I know, but that's all it's, exactly yeah, it's all rubbish. Well, you, when you don't he, believe the truth was good. Heathen Chemistry. I, like, I quite like Heathen he, Chemistry. Worst one. Awful. You think so? By a long way. What? What? I'd what, rather worse than to... dig out your soul. No, exactly. Uh, what worse uh, than worse than stand on the shoulder giants? Yeah. No. Even chemistry. Even no. chemistry. No. It's a, it's Where a, did it all go wrong? Go let it out. Go on. Right. Wrap it up now. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to roll it over. He's going to hit him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even Sunday morning calls got. Cut no. this off, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> three, three singles, and that was their best lot. And then, then they did yeah. Heathen Chemistry. That's what they believe is B side. Yeah. Don't side believe the truth. Was, no, that don't believe. Don't believe the truth wasn't. I don't think so. Yeah, I thought Heathen Chemistry was a better album. Important to be an idol. Layla, Lila. Yeah. Um, last track. Um, Let there be love. Let there be love. Don't believe the truth. Great album. Yeah. We can't have it anymore, I'm afraid. Yeah. You've, uh, you've, you've I was, had your I chance. Was, I, was, I could have chose it. Yeah. Could have had it, yeah. It was in my... Was it in the blacky red? It was in within like a, a 10, yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> Well, thank you very much, gents, for uh, for that. Ah, yeah. uh, we'll see We'll see how yeah, many sorry, people Bob. agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see how many people agree with us. Um, we'll probably get some backlash for for uh, for a few of the for, for a few of the picks um, not being there do you know what i mean yeah, there's probably uh, loads, uh, loads, yeah, there's loads yeah there's loads of the kid a, they, they come out don't they the kid a fans yeah yeah um, name yourselves <laughs> <laughs> all four of you go on <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you very much and um if you want to support us more you can uh, follow us on instagram facebook uh, tiktok we're on all the social media platforms um if you want to purchase some merch from us such as the the hoodie that i'm wearing or the or the uh, the jumper that dad's wearing there um you can you can find all of our merchandise on um on our website rockabyrecords.co.uk um you can shoot us a message as well if there's any records that you're after we've got everything from a pound all the way up to those rare expensive records uh, that we've talked about in a few of the podcasts before um so for now though thank you very much chris tom thank and you right, dad um and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one thank you very much <laughs>